Voices of Interns and Scientists. I enjoy this though. Video I like shows them getting at my work. hands dirty. I like using the tools to <laughs> open up the rock. Oh, that's pretty sweet. I mean, this office, it's hot, but the views, you just can't beat them. Skeletons and, and bones just kind of emerge, and the rock often will just fall off from around them. So, uh, video shows petrified forest school. welcome sign. Host on camera. I'm Cassidy Esposito, and welcome to Outside Science Inside Parks. Petrified Forest National Park makes you think about petrified logs, right? On this episode, we dig, get it, into a deeper layer of discovery. Let's check it out. Nature Scenes. Graphics read Outside Science Inside Parks. Graphics read Petrified Forest National Park. Outside Science Inside Parks. This is a really, really neat site, and I've seen animals here that. Speaker is Megan like Sedano, labs. Virginia Tech Geosciences undergrad. Um, either things that we've never found before at Petrified Forest or possible new species based on morphological characteristics. So I'm super excited about what this Speaker stuff is, is William Reyes, PhD candidate, like vertebrae paleontology that that you intern. See, like when you watch the movies in Jurassic Park or like documentary channels, it's like Christmas every day. Digging, finding and exposing bones that hasn't seen the day daylight in like, what, 220 million years? <laughs> this is actually really unique because most of my life science has been like, oh, you get the materials given to you and then you do research on it and then you turn in a lab report. But that, it's not science. You don't get that same feel of being out here, having your own quarry, like knowing how to look for the bones in the rock. We can collect something in the field and um, then they'll bring it back to the lab and then we have the public facing lab where we can actually show visitors. And so visitors are able to come out and Speaker see is Phil Varela, a fossil, fossil preparator, been Petrified Forest National Park. Because a lot of people think fossils though they've already all, all, all been found. But we, as, as we can see from these sites, we have so many things that have never been found. And we can actually share that discovery with, with people who just come to visit. It's great because a lot of people Speaker are is coming ben out Kilbin. to the visitor center and they're, Paleontologist they're just taking a Petrified break, they're driving Forest across National the country Park. on I-40 and they, you know, see the sign and, and pull off at the visitor center and they might not even go through the whole park, but they stop at the visitor center and they go see the demo lab and then they're surprised to see all these incredible skeletons and new species of animals Speaker that is we're Adam excavating. Marsh, lead Paleontologist, Petrified Forest National Park. Anywhere that you go. It's easy to see a lot of wood when you're out there, and the vast majority of folks don't really understand they're also walking over bones and fish scales and reptile teeth. Well, that's one of the reasons we do what we do. It's, just, it's for research, but it's also for outreach and education, because most folks who are here, aside from the wood, don't have a large interaction with the fossil resources. And so it's just a great opportunity to see the Speaker entire Speaker is Matt Smith, from, museum yeah, curator, and, and Petrified Forest National Park. It's something that you can park. only do in national parks or, or other public lands that have the entire chain in place. The whole point of a museum collection, all this climate control and all the fancy containers and stuff, is to assure that these things are preserved in perpetuity. When you step back, what we're doing with that puzzle is trying to understand more about the history of life on Earth and how uh, Earth processes and changing climates and changing environments drive biological evolution. How do we know what we know? Well, it's, it's really about all about going out and, and collecting evidence. And, and what that is, is, is the fossils and the rocks, the geologic context around those fossils. I don't know. There's many things about it that I love. One of the, the biggest things is discovering new things that are new for me, new for science, and new for everyone. And we don't know what we're gonna discover, just like people 100 years ago didn't exactly know what we would discover, um, but they had the foresight to protect this area for the fossils. I came here straight after graduating from undergrad and landing this internship really opened the doors for me as far as being able to figure out what I want to do, figure out how I want to do it. Just because this is such a unique opportunity that we are able to come and continue just collaborating with the National Park Service. It's been a real fun experience of learning more than just, you know, my research subject. Host on camera. Thanks for watching this episode of Outside Science, Inside Parks. Be sure to check back in for more stories of park science. Graphics read 
Outside Science Inside Parks is a production of NPS Natural Resource Stewardship and Science in association with Colorado State University.